What's up YouTube? This is iTweaks here and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tweet called iReal SMS. I kept getting a lot of messages about this and I also was getting a lot about the Lockdown Pro. So I'm going to show you guys that in the next video as well. But iReal SMS is basically an entire makeover for your messaging app. And you can see here that it just takes the place of your native messaging application. And you can see it just says iReal SMS down there. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And you can see here are all your conversations here. And you have this little navigation bar down here. You have your folders and your settings. So if we go into our folders, you can see that you have an inbox, drafts, templates, outbox, and sent. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory of what this is. This is inboxes, all the received messages, sent, what you sent, your outbox. I mean, I don't really have to explain this stuff. But up here, if you want to actually make a template, if you tap on the create a new, and you can just type whatever you want to just say hi there and then if you cancel it you can save as a draft or you can save as a template so we'll save it as a template and now you can see I have a template right there so if I open that up I can just tap on that and it starts out with hi there so that's how you make templates if you want to use uh, templates I don't really use them that much so it's not really a, a, a huge feature for me but this is actually a pretty cool tweak I've been using it for a while now so let's go ahead and go into the settings here. There's a ton of settings. So if we go into the basic and UI right here, you have classic alert, classic custom background, iOS 6 style, and iOS 7 style. So let's go ahead and tap iOS 7 style because that's what's going to match my theme. And this is for the quick reply. So when that pop-up comes up, it's going to be iOS 7 style. And if you want to use a signature, then you can make a signature right here. This is your smiley and emoji settings right here as well as auto correction your keyboard settings auto capitalization and landscape mode portrait mode auto rotate that sort of stuff and your interface settings you can have contact pictures and if you have a whole lot of contact pictures on your uh, on your device then I definitely recommend doing that just because it just looks a whole lot better when you uh, open up your messaging app and you see all your contact pictures right there I don't really have that many uh, but I have a few and you can see like when I when I open this up there wasn't any over here so it doesn't really look that good since it's all just uh, they're not customized but it's still a pretty cool feature and you have a confirm to send I don't have that enabled but it's I mean it's self-explanatory if you send something it's gonna ask you if you are you sure you want to send this and UI tab or toggle UI tab or toggle if you enable that and we go to the conversations tab you can see this little bar down here that I've been navigating with if you tap the conversations you can see that it goes away so that's all that that does and let's go back into the settings and go into advanced and you have quick reply settings so here you can toggle on your quick reply auto hide mark always as red hide keyboard show call button status bar icon so here you have your quick send hotkeys you can set this to be volume up plus touch or just volume up double home plus menu or just double home and this is just to start a quick send so it would just be hitting the volume up button and tapping the little uh, volume pop up right here now down here is where it's going to be activated so at the lock screen start with your favorites numeric dial pad status bar icon and use for SMS URLs so if we go back again you can see here lock screen dim time there's a ton of settings in this tweak so bear with me I'm trying to go through it as fast as possible but at the same time giving you some information on them so you can require a double tap so if you open up a quick send then and you want to X out of it and then you're gonna to have to double tap to actually X out of it double tap to send and read new SMS this is actually voice setting so if you I mean I've had this enabled and I usually don't have my phone uh, on anything but vibrate so it usually doesn't pop up but when you get a text message it says message received from so and so do you want me to read it and then it sometimes will read it even if you say no and that's not always a good thing so I don't really I can't recommend the voice settings to be on I do have mine on because I think it's funny sometimes just listening to Siri read my text messages but at the same time if you're uh, worried about privacy or anything like that I wouldn't I wouldn't keep these on so it's gonna ask you if you want to mark as red and read again and I've had this where it asks you read again and I tell it not to read again and it reads it again anyways and it's kind of annoying but I mean it's a it's a cool thing to have it's just not uh, very very typical to have so 
Uh, down here we have sent notification settings and you can mess with that if you want to it's not really uh, you probably don't need to it probably works just fine you also have your master password down here and restore latest backup so this is a cool little feature that actually creates a backup of your SMS database up to twice a day which is just resprings and every time you leave the iReal SMS app so you can use backups and you can see here are my backups down here and you can restore from those as well so that's a cool feature too. So now let me show you the iOS 7 style quick send and how to activate it. All right, so I actually had to respring because I had status HUD installed and it doesn't work if you have status HUD installed if you're gonna be using the volume up toggle. So we're gonna hit the volume up and then tap this little pop-up right here and you can see I have an iOS 7 style themed quick send. So it's actually pretty nice and you can tap right here if you want to uh, get your favorites you can tap here for more this allows you to actually read the entire conversation I don't have a conversation with anybody right here because I don't have anything typed in but you can read the conversation if you just tap that as well as tapping this you know what this does you can take a photo choose existing and these are all the emojis that are pre-installed with this tweak and you obviously have the option for quick reply so if I go ahead and send myself a message here I'll just say hi and you can just tap on that banner and you get this little pop-up right here that has the quick reply so you can just tap reply you can tap open to open up the application or you can tap close so if we tap reply here you have the option to call them you can still open the application close or go to the more option which I've already showed you so it's really that simple if we just tap hi tap send and it's sent so it's actually a pretty cool tweak and it's been pretty useful for me. I've been using it for about two, maybe about two, two and a half weeks now. And I mean, it's a little on the pricey side. I can't remember exactly how much it is, but I will put that on the video, uh, just in the text at the beginning of this video. So you'll be able to see how much it is. But I'm thinking it was around 13 bucks. Uh, so it's pretty steep for a uh, messaging app, but Usually the messaging app with all these types of features and uh, tweaks within this tweak usually will come at a hefty price. But let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time. Peace.